Welcome to the first video on my new computer. Uh, it's going to be out, Impact Bound for Glory results from the 14th. Opening video for the pay-per-view with Santana and Ortiz starts off the show. We see clips hyping each other's events leading up to tonight's matches. Don Callis and Josh Matthews are commentating tonight's action as we get right to the first match. And by the way, Don Callis also does New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he's gone from New Japan. Announcing. And Matt, Matt Seidel and Ethan Page versus Rich Swan and Willie Mack. I watched uh, the match as I caught it uh, halfway through the, uh, through the match. And I've noticed that he has gained a little bit of weight. Uh, he is from the Louisiana area and is now at Impact Wrestling. Uh, on Twitter at Impact Wrestling, welcome to Impact Wrestling at Willie Mac, Willie underscore Mac. Crowd uh, with the return of the Mac before things just started. Swan with an insecurity to flatten Sidell. Sidell tries to talk some trash, and Swan just tag tags in Mac. Mac showing off his agility, right to get as he uh, dodges Sidell, landing a big shoulder tackle. Swan back uh, back in now, as he got knocked out of the ring. Page got tagged in to some chorus core, of boost from the crowd. Swan then lands a drop kick, hits a car corona, covers for one count. Page plays Swan inside out, tags Sidell back in. Sidell goes off the top and stomps on Swan's arm. It totally was hips. That was awesome. Pin him first. Page then yanks Swan off, off the ropes, Ta taunts a bit, then goes for a delayed pin for a two count. Sidell back in, wrestlers up on the floor. Uh, where there's a little room between the crowd and the apron. Mac takes out his opponent. Back inside the ring, Sidell and Swan. Swan tries to fight his way back to Mac. But Sidell with a hard sli side slam. Page tags in, drops him down on Swan with an elbow drop for, for a two count. At Impact Wrestling on Twitter, standing moonsault by at Willie underscore Mac. Hashtag BFG. C-O-M-D-A. Uh, Swan flips out of two suplexes, tags back, uh, tags in Mac, who, two clotheslines and uh, lands, two corner clotheslines, cannonball on, on the side L. Finishes up with an exploder suplex on Page. Mac gets ki kicked in the face, Swan, Samoan dropped by Mac. Kip up, standing moonsault, covers for two. Swan gets in there, drops Page, goes for another cover only gets a two count sits page up on the top turnbuckle page fights off mac swan back up to the top page basically body slams swan off the top hits a swan time covers for a two count again at total divas hip says at official ego launches swan hashtag bfg comda uh, mac then drops page side l with a jumping knee to mac up to the top rope with swan but gets shoved off. Sidell with a standing hurricanrana. But Swan ends up flipping into Page, giving him a hurricanrana. All four wrestlers are down. All four up, swinging on, swinging away on each other. Page with secondly kicks Sidell. Mac with a stunner on Page. Sidell swinging neckbreaker on Mac. Swan with a spinning kick, handspring cutter. Hits the second rope. Phoenix splash lands for the one, two, three. Winner to match Rich Swan and Willie Mac by pinfall. And Willie Mac gets on the mic and checks in with the crowd. Two front row seats are open. Mac gets two of the loudest fans to move up to the front. Thanks to the pay-per-view sponsor. Matthews and Collis recap. Johnny Impact and Taya Valkyrie on TMZ talking about Austin Aries. We didn't see Aries and Impact nearly coming to blows at the end of a Abyss's Hall of Fame induction from Saturday night. Uh, Carlos and Matthews talks about the situation and then suddenly throws it backstage. Conan has a metal dolly and some weight equipment on him. He says King attacked him and he looks to be out of tonight's match. Conan tells Ortiz and Santa, Santana to go out and handle their business to, against the OGs. Eli Eli Drake heads up to the ring. He's 
Got an open challenge to any New Yorker. Drake Grantsamite says he rolls into New York City and wants to see what the best New York can offer him. He has looked around though and has seen hasn't seen anyone. Drake says he does see some players from New York Giants, but he can't believe it's any of them. Drake then makes fun of these Giants, one and five record. Ellsworth comes out. Drake says he's from Maryland, not New York. Ellsworth says he did date a girl from Staten Island. Hinting Carmella from WWE. Despite being the face, the crowd mainly booed Ellsworth. And if you can't, it's hard to the crowd. And Impact Wrestling, the crowd doesn't like at real, real Ellsworth. Hashtag BFG COMDA. Eli Drink versus James Ellsworth starts off. Ellsworth didn't have much much of a chance in this one. Drake start, uh, started off with a big power bomb, and Ellsworth didn't get in a, a, a big punch or a finger. Drake with a gravy train, the gravy train covers for the one, two, three. I told you, he was says, welcome aboard the Eli Drake gravy train. Hashtag BFG COMDA. Winner of the match. Eli Drake. Drake got to get back on the mic and says he wanted something more than that. He wanted Hall of Fame material. Out comes Abyss. The two end up brawling in the ring. My feet goes out at that, at that point. Abyss goes out and grabs the table. Sets it up in the ring. Nearly. Puts Drake through it. Drake fights out. Looks to drop down on the table through Abyss. But Abyss grabs him by the throat and chokes Samson through the table. Earlier in the day, Mackenzie Mitchell talked to an Impact Knockout champion, Tessa Blanchard, about tonight's match and if Blanchard is confident about her chances. The champ is almost, is almost insulted by that question. She says Taya call, calls herself Lucha Lo Royalty, but Blanchard is the real royalty. Diamonds are forever and the title isn't going anywhere, she says. To end that segment. Well, you got Tessa Blanchard, the champion versus Taya Valkyrie. In my opinion, this was a great match. For the Impact Knockouts Championship, I totally was upset. Uh, hashtag BFG COMDA. In the presence of hashtag Lucha Royalty at the Taya Valkyrie. And by the way, that's Johnny Impact's wife. Formerly uh, known as Johnny Mundo, Johnny Nitro, and John Morrison from WWE. At Impact Wrestling again. Hashtag Tessa is forever. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. At te Tess underscore Blanchard. Back and forth to start the match early. And on with Taya uh, landing a big knee to the face. Blanchard charges with a big clothesline in the corner. Valkyrie with a spear in the middle of the ring. And then Blanchard heads out to the floor to escape. Both were, both were back up on the apron. Blanchard with a neck breaker. Tosses Valkyrie back in the ring. Blanchard runs right into a big boot and hits a code breaker for a two count. A total of steps. The at the Taya Valkyrie takes down Tessa. Hashtag BFTCOMDA. Blanchard looks for a DDT. Nope. Couple reversals. Released German suplex by Valkyrie. Blanchard comes up empty in the corner. Valkyrie with a hip hip attack. Double knee in the corner. Valkyrie with a suplex off the second rope. Holds on with body scissors. Choke. But Blanchard. Literally stands up with, with Valkyrie and jams her in the corner. Followed by a suplex. And we got comments from Total USFs at the Taya Valkyrie going, we're a local. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. Back and forth attacks in the middle of the ring. Valkyrie yelling at the champion. Blanchard swings back with, mul with multiple forearms. Buzzsaw DDT. Nope. Valkyrie with, a, with two covers. Uh, uh, Valkyrie with TKO, covers for a two count. Crowd really into the match. Road to Bahia, nope. Blanchard hammers Valkyrie from behind, covers for a two count. Blanchard goes up top. Leaps, gets caught. Valkyrie with a strange choke slam. Head to the top rope. Big moonsault, covers for a two. Valkyrie locks in an arm bar, curves top, and stretches out Blanchard, but the champion still gets to the bottom rope. Comments from Total Divas Epps. At the Taya Valkyrie takes Tessa down the road to Valhalla. 
Hashtag BFG COMD. And they didn't finish the comment. COMD 8. Also at Impact Wrestling. Magnum by at te Tess underscore Blanchard. Hashtag BFG COMD 8. Blanchard grabs the apron. Yank, gets yanked back in. Road to Valhalla. Referee was fixing the apron but didn't uh, get to see the quick pin. pin as I was counting uh, through uh, through the match and got like a six count, but the ref only got to got over there for the two count. Valkyrie looks uh, looks for another another one. Blanchard stomps a foot, avoids the charging. Valkyrie who flies into the ring post, busts all DDT, lands covers, and she kicks out. Crowd thought that was it. Blanchard heads up to the top. Even Tessa got the uh, thought it was for the three count. Blanchard heads up to the top rope, looks for a, a tornado DG, but does hit a hurricane, sending Valkyrie into the second turnbuckle herself. Uh, Blanchard heads to the top rope, hits a flying code break, covers for the one, two, three. What a match! I totally leave his hips. In case there was a lingering doubt, at test underscore Blanchard runs this. Hashtag BFG COMDA winner of the match, Tessa Blanchard by pinfall. I told you the comments again. Hang in there at Mackenzie Mitch. Hashtag BFG COMDA. Earlier today, Moose talked with Mackenzie about tonight's match against Eddie Edwards. He says tonight will be the final nail in the coffin, and he plans on eating Eddie. Moose with, a, uh, with quite the outfit choice for tonight's pay per view. Then we got Moose versus Eddie Edwards. Comments for Total Divas Hits for the match. Boston E Party by the Eddie Edwards. Hashtag BFG COMDA. Accompanied by three women. Moose in a very silver jacket. Heads to the ring. Edwards rolls out to the ring with a kendo stick. Momentarily chases Moose around out of the ring. Edwards nails the Boston E Party already on. But doesn't go for the cover. Instead, he goes for his kendo stick and killer cross attacks him from, from the crowd. Re referee calls the match. Winner by, by disqualification, Eddie Edwards. By, by disqualification. Cross uh, tosses Edwards back into the ring. Moose continues to hammer away on him. Moose with a, a weak pump kick on Edwards. And out comes Tommy Dreamer with a kendo stick. He smacks both Cross and Moose out of the ring. Grabs the mic and tells the two guys they don't know where that where they are. Dreamer says the crowd isn't going to stand for a finish like that and calls for the bell to ring. So we get an impromptu tag team match. At Impact Wrestling, the Tommy Dreamer is here to help Eddie Edwards. Hashtag BFG COMDA, Tommy Dreamer and Eddie Edwards versus Moose and Killer Cross. No disqualification, tornado tag match. Rules were rules were really announced. Well, let's go with the madness. Uh, wasn't uh, announced. Uh, my feed went back out again. Both teams brawl on the floor. Dreamer sp uh, spits water in both Moose and Cross the face. Edwards then asked for, for Dreamer to drink some water and spit it on him. Which he then spit on, on Moose. Eww. Back in back in the ring, it's Moose and Dreamer. Well, you think that bad, remember. Uh, Dreamer was in WWE doing that, drinking the tobacco juice crap that somebody else was uh, uh, chewing on at ringside in the crowd. Uh, Dreamer's in. And back in the ring, Moose in Dreamer. Moose with a shoulder tackle, running senton. Nope. Cross heads into the ring and stomps on Dreamer. Edwards follows him, but he gets a suplex for his troubles. At Impact Wrestling, at, says at the Eddie Edwards and the Tommy Dreamer firmly on the same page. Hashtag BFGC on DA. Everyone's falling all over the place. Edwards gets knocked off the top rope down to the exposed floor. Cross chokes Dreamer on his on his tie and tosses him across the ring. Moose ends up jawing with one of the New York Giants and gets shoved down to the floor. Edwards then hits an overhead release suplex on Moose. Back in the ring, 
Edwards with an atomic drop on cross. And then a couple more chops to the chest. I told Lee what says, New York, whoop, New York Giants football team are getting involved. Hashtag BFGC on the egg. Top row for Corona by Edwards on cross. Another chop. Covers for a two count as I caught the action back in. Moose breaks it up. Edwards on, and Moose go go at it in the ring. Back and forth strikes. Edwards hits a blue thunder bomb. Dreamer and Cross now in the ring. Dreamer hits a, a, a cutter on Cross. Edwards tosses Dreamer into the kendo stick. But side two flex on Dreamer. Moose with a power bomb on Edwards. Moose tries to take Edwards' head off with a kendo stick. Edwards rolls up. Edward rolls him up for, for the three count. And Impact Wrestling, Doomsday Saito by a real killer cross. Hashtag BFE. COMDA. Winner of the match, Eddie Edwards, Tommy Dreamer by pinfall. After the match, cro tro uh, Cross then chokes Edwards, and Moose hits a spear. They take him out and hit double double power bomb on, on the edge of the apron. And the Impact Wrestling says, my God, at the Moose Nation and at Real Killer Cross, destroy Eddie Edwards with a power bomb on the apron. Hashtag BFCC on MDA. Backstage, OVE hyping tonight's match against Pentagon Junior Brian Cage and Phoenix. Callahan says that they plan on putting Ohio as the capital of wrestling. Dave Chris, Jake Chris, and Sammy Callahan versus Pentagon Junior Phoenix and Brian Cage. OV rules match. Both teams were off in battle. Callahan and Pentagon, back and forth chops, double sling blades. Dave lands on a long blower on Pentagon. Cage with a release suplex, hitting Dave, rolling out of the ring. Cage tries to do the same, but Jake lands on his feet. Flips up to the top rope. Cage catches him. Jake flips out and sends Cage into the ring post. Phoenix with a back handspring into a headbutt. Phoenix ends up on the apron, kick to the head, dances on the rope, and hits a, a smooth looking cutter. That total totally was hip says that's oh, there's only one at Ray Phoenix Phoenix MX hashtag BFGC on DA Phoenix with a handspring off the top off the rope Callahan catches and, and lands a suplex Phoenix out on the floor Callahan with a kick to Phoenix tries tries it on Cage doesn't do any damage jumps on Cage gets to, gets caught and power bomb into the apron Jake leaps on Cage and catches him with a vertical suplex position nearly losing him into the crowd. Phoenix with a cannonball out to Callahan and Jake. Back in the ring, Cage picks up Jake and sends Jake over to the floor on the other wrestlers. Cage with a deadlift super, super flex on Callahan, bringing him into the ring. Dave breaks it up, though, for the pin. Pinfall. Uh, totally with Hep says, Here comes at Ray Phoenix MX. Hashtag BFGC on the A. Pentagon. Gets Jake into the tree of woe position and gets double stomped. Cage with a power bomb on Dave. Looks for the drill claw. Callahan with a pump kick. Not pump kick, pump kick. kick. Uh, Callahan sends him to the outside. Phoenix runs down the ramp. Leaps over the top. Okay, at least over the top rope, hits a cutter for a two count. Crowd like that spot. Jake with a pair of kicks that sends Phoenix out to the floor. Pentagon driver on Jake. Jake breaks the pin. Everyone is getting taken down now. Cage power bombs. Callahan into the corner. Spike. Fear factor by Pentagon. Phoenix cover. Jake and Dave break, broke up the pinfall. Until the room sets. Comments. Spike's fear factor by at Pentel Zerom. And at Ray, Ray Phoenix MX, hashtag BFGC on DA. Cage then lifts up the runner to hit the fallaway slam. OBE tried to triple team Cage, but Pentagon and Phoenix make the save. Pentagon with a code breaker on Dave. Phoenix heads to the top rope. Goes to stand on Pentagon's shoulders. Jake looks for a, a leaping cutter, but they botch that move with Phoenix actually landing down on Jake. Pentagon and Callahan on the apron now. Callahan with a pile driver. 
Kane starts up a Terminator clap as he gets into the ring with all three OBA, OBE guys. Takes down all three guys. Jake with a number of kicks the cage. Dave lifts up the big man. All seeing eye on, hits on cage. Covers kicks it, kicks out at one. Triple kicks to cage. And again, he just yells at them. They kick him at least ten times, maybe more. Pile driver by Callahan covers for the three. That's it. Cage's first loss and impact. Winners the match over by pinfall. Backstage, McKenzie talks with Impact World Champion Austin Aries about tonight's match against Johnny Impact. Aries just stares angrily at the camera for a moment and says when he first came to Impact, the promotion was on life support. Aries says he's busted his butt to build the title back up and feels like he's done a pretty good job. Aries says Impact just waltzes back in when his schedule allows for it. And suddenly, the title is the most important thing in the world to him. Aries thinks Impact is a liar. Aries says he will bring his, his guys to the ring and wants Impact to bring Taya to ringside as well. This isn't a reality show. This isn't some B-movie. This is my life. I totally receives comments. Life according to at Austin Aries. Hashtag BFG CMDA. Backstage, the OGs jokingly give a tribute to Conan, who they took out earlier. King says tonight they are going to show Ortiz and Santana what it means to come up the hard way. King says this is their town, not LAX's town. LAX tag team, Santana and Ortiz versus the OGs of King, Hernandez, and Homicide. Concrete juggle match. At Impact Wrestling, there was a concrete juggle death match. Nothing between these wrestlers and, and brutal violence. Hashtag BFGC on DA. The canvas pads have been have been rooms to just show the wood bo wood boards in the ring. So you, you got a wrestling ring with just the two by sixes on the floor. Turk buckle pads have also been removed. LAX comes out with a group with a group and sort of live performance. One board was already sticking up from the performance. They're moving around, opening holes in the, in the ring. A member of LAX already almost fell through. King plant Santana on the boards. Out. Rep, Rep Riley is trying to fix the boards as he can. This is no this is so dangerous. Or just nailing everyone with a with a garbage can lid. Hernandez bust, busted open early on. Didn't see what happened. OGs bring in two tables and set them up in the corners. Impact Wrestling comments. You're on both both on the exposed boards by at Mad King 1981. Hashtag BFC COMDA. So we got three guys versus two. Handicap match. King with a suicide dive out to the floor, taking out Santana. Hernandez with a border toss of his own, par own partner out to Santana and Ortiz. Back inside the ring, Ortiz with a released Northern Light suplex. Ortiz with chops him on Hernandez. Tries to charge him, and Hernandez just pounces him into one of the tables. Santana back in the ring. Kick to Hernandez. His head, who goes out of the ring, Santana with a flip over the top rope. Thankfully, the boards don't act weird as he leaves out. Kind of like a trampoline when you jump, bounces off, comes back, back up. And at Impact Wrestling says, pounce through a table by at Super Mex CCM to at Ortiz 5150. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. King is launched into the exposed third buckle by Santana. Covers for two count. Santana and Ortiz. Go to work on Hernandez in the corner. Hernandez sitting on top on the top rope. LAX. Leap up and hit a double superplex super that dang near splits the wood. This is wild. Have I said this is dangerous? This is dangerous. LAX music hits and out comes Conan with a blackjack. He smacks Hernandez and Homicide with it. Conan swings away on King and sends him into the corner. So then Tanner with a kick to the back of the head and Conan launches King into the other table. Sitting on the corner, LAX nails Street Sweeper on King, covers for the three count. Winners of the match, LAX. Conan Ortiz of Santana by pinfall. 
Allie agrees to make a deal with James Mitchell to be sent to Su Young's undead realm to find Carol Hogan. Allie ends up going into the coffin and then bumping into Mitchell. He reminds her that if she sees her soul, it stays with him. So no touching. Allie with a, with an act, has a small axe handle. Heads through, through a creepy building. She hears a noise and looks around. An undead bride shows up and starts choking her. Allie smacks her with, a, with, with the butt end of the axe and then with the axe itself. Allie bumps into another bride and jacks her up with the axe. Blood splatters all over the place. At Impact Wrestling comments at Allie Impact, the Demon Slayer has entered the undead realm. Hashtag BFGC on BA. She ends up finding her soul, but ends up moving on from it. She finds a coffin where Carol Hogan is at. From behind it, Sue is Sue Young with a big axe of her own. Young welcomes Allie and takes a swing. Allie blocks it, then dodges another couple swings. Young finally drops Allie, chokes her, and takes the, the mini axe. Young goes for, goes for a swing at, out as Allie blocks it, but Young locks in the mandible claw on her. Allie looks to be fading. Young pulls out a knife, and Allie suddenly wakes up and whacks Young in the neck with, with, the, with the mini axe. And Impact Wrestling tweaks. Well, they're going to have nightmares for months. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. Uh, we're going to have nightmares. Allie wakes Hogan up and gets her out of the coffin. Hogan is out of it with Allie leading her, her back to the exit. They can't get the coffin open, though, and Mitchell shows up. He laughs and says he promised to let Allie in, but didn't say anything about letting her out. Young and the bride show up again and, clo and, and close in, but Rosemary shows up and fights them off. Hi, buddy. You shouldn't be here. Rosemary helps them up, helps them open the coffin, but Young shows up again. Rosemary fights her off in, in a cosmic battle. Hogan and Allie get in the coffin and are able to make it back. Allie wants to go back. Hogan says no. But Allie yells at her and doesn't look to be 100%. All right. Have, right. <coughs> have Sally her soul. At Impact Wrestling. Comments at Allie Impact. Just stuck an X in, in the neck of at Real Sue Young. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. Comment from Impact Wrestling again. The Demon Assassin has saved at Alley Impact. At BFGCOMDA, we are Rosemary. Another comment from Impact Wrestling. At Rio, we are Rosemary. Stay behind to fight the Undead Bride and allow Alley, uh, Alley Impact to escape. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. Austin Aries, a champion with Moose and Killer Cross versus Johnny Impact with Taya Valkyrie. For the Impact World Championship. I totally accept says at the real Morrison and uh, at the Taya Valkyrie, the mayor and first lady of Samtown. Okay, BFGC on the A. Also, Impact Resin tweets a study in contrast at Austin. Aries, the very opposite of Johnny Impact's extravagance. Hashtag BFGCOMDA. Aries looks for a last chancery early on. Both are down. Uh, both are on the aggressive side to get things start, started. Bit of feeling out process if we get started. Crowd is fairly split for both guys. 205 chant. Breaks out. Impact, Impact lands a number of punches, sending Aries into the corner. They fight to the floor. Aries charges. Impact who jumps. Up and does a split leg of moonsault by using the apron edge and the barricade. See, uh, just like Starship paint inside a ring. Well, there you go. Aries gets up on top, crashes down on impact, lands a massive chop to the chest, sending him back into the ring. Uh, I told you, Sep says, unreal. At the real Morrison, hashtag B BFG CMDA. Uh, Aries with a kick to the back of Impact's neck. He gets up and slaps Aries in the face. Aries with a bunch of knees and punches to the face. Aries lands 
A kick to the side. Aries stands on Impact's face and taunts Valkyrie a bit. She yells, F, F you. Another forward letter word. Aries hops on the turnbuckles and stretches out for a minute. Back and forth shots as Impact sends the champion into the corner. Impact then gets, gets, gets kicked again in the back of the neck, sending him back to the floor. Aries looks for a suicide dive and catches an elbow. Impact with a springboard cork, screw splash. Covers for a two count. Very intense match so far from both of these guys. Working very snug. A totally accepts. Says. A comment. Spanish flyby at the real Morrison. Hashtag BFGC on the egg. Aries or her Quran off the second rope. Aries gets, gets booted in the face. Starts your paint attempt. Lands on his feet though. Both wrestlers in the top, end up on the top rope. Spanish fly covers. Aries just near, barely kicked out. Impact goes for the for the countdown to impact, rolls through, knees to Aries' face. Both on the apron now, both throwing forearms and punches. Impact with a kick to the face, but Aries hits a sloppy Death Valley driver. Impact thrown back in the ring. Aries goes up top for the four feet splash, covers for a two. Count only. Aries showing frustration as he didn't get the three count. I totally accept comments at Austin Aries going for 50. Hashtag BFGCOFDA. Aries gets dropped. Impact hits Starship Payne. Covers. Aries is able to grab the bottom rope to stop the count. He continues holding on after Impact gets, gets off of him. Roaring elbow. Running drop kick. Brain busted by Aries. Pin for pin. One, two, three. Impact gets his foot on the bottom rope. Aries and Taylor talk trash at each other. Aries with a knee to the, knee to the head. Last chance where he's locked in. Impact goes out of it. Uh, gets out of it. Aries looks to take out Impact. Impact dodges. And Aries lands a suicide dive on Taya. Seeing her into the barricade. Impact wails on Aries on the floor. Back in the ring. Impact with a kick to the throat. Brain Buster Starship Pain hits. Covers for the 1, 2, 3. And new Impact World Champion Johnny Impact. After the match, Aries was all kinds of mad. He immediately got up. Looked, looked, looked like he yelled at someone above. Possibly at commentary. Said something to Impact. Flipped the bird to the crowd. As he went to the back, Impact celebrates in the ring with Taya. At Total Diva Simps, comments on Twitter, at The Real Morrison and at the Taya Valkyrie celebrate the win. Hashtag and new Impact World Champion. Hashtag BFG CMDA. As Johnny Impact is your new Impact World Champion, and I'll give you more results of why that happened there on the impact spoilers for next week uh, for, uh, for the for the month going into november thank you see you want to be if you don't know just call me brothers and sisters and that's the bottom line because the shreveport connection says so